hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn how to create a user profile card design for website using html and css here on my web page you can see a user profile card design with cover image profile image user's name and bio text then we have some buttons and other information about the user's profile on this profile picture i have added this beautiful hover effect when I take cursor over this profile image, then some border will come and the border width is increasing very smoothly. We will make this user profile card design using HTML and CSS. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have added one index.html file and one style.css file and I have another folder called images. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now let me open these code file with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file. In the HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add the code in the body tag. So here. Let's create one div with the class name container and next we will add the CSS for this one. So add this class name in the CSS file with the dot and here we will add the width. Then we will add the minimum height. It will be 100 viewport height. Then we will add one background color. So here we will add background and this color code. And after that we will add display. Display will be flex, align items center and justify content center. So that all the contents inside this div will be in the center. After adding this, open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see this dark color on the web page. Let me close this browser and we will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. Whenever we will add any changes in the code file and save it, then it will automatically refresh the website. Now let's come back to the HTML file and here we will create another div with the class name Profile Card and in this one we have to add one image so here we will add img tag and write the file path here we will add the folder name images slash file name which is cover.png this is the cover image and here we will add one class name so the class name is cover pick let's duplicate this line and here we will change the file name it is profile.png and we will change the class name also it is profile pick so we have added two images after adding this again come back to the website now you can see these two images on the website now let's come back to the html file and copy this class name profile card we will add the css for this one so write it here in the css file and here we will add the width it will be 90 percent then we will add the maximum width so let's add the max width of 450 pixel and after that we will add the text align center so all the text will be in the center next we will add the background it is white and then we will add one color code for the text color after adding this, you can see this white color just behind this image. Next, we have to fix the size for the cover image. So just copy this class name cover pick, write it here in the CSS file. For this one, we will add the display block and width, it will be 100%. After adding this, you can see the fixed width for this cover picture. Next, we will add the CSS for this profile picture. So just copy this class name profile pick. Write it here in this CSS file. Here we will add the width. It will be 140 pixel. Then we will add border radius 50%. So it will be a circle. Then we will add margin from the top. It is minus 70 pixel. Here we have the width 140 pixel. So half will be 70 pixel. That's why here I'm adding margin top minus 70. After that, you can see this image in the circle style and it is moving up by 50%. Now let's come back to the HTML file and after this profile picture, we will add one text in h1. So this will be the user's name. After that, we will add some other text in p tag. So this is the bio text. After that, we will add one button. So here we will add a tag and in this a tag, we will add the link text. It is follow and let's add the class name for this anchor text. The class name is follow btn. After adding this, you can see these text and this link here. Now we have to design this one. So let's come back and here in this CSS file, we will add the class name 
profile card and in this one we have the h1 tag for the user's name in this one we will add the font weight then we have this button follow vtn so just add this class name in this css file and for this button we will add display display will be inline block and then we will add the text decoration text decoration will be none so it will remove the underline then we have border one pixel solid and this color code so you will see a border around this text so it will look like a button then we will change the color of the button text then let's add some padding it will add some space inside the button and then let's add margin 25 pixel and 0 25 pixel is from top and bottom you can see these text looks good and this button also after that we will add some other text in three columns for that let's come back to the html file and after this a tag here we will add one div with the class name row and in this row again add one div and in this div we will add one text in p tag and let's add another text in h2 let's duplicate this complete div so we have added three div let's change the text here it is following number of following people and here we will add number of videos so we have added three div in this row and after this row we will add another a tag so in this a we will add the link text called view profile and let's add the class name view btn after adding this again come back to the website and you will find all these text here it is vertically aligned and you can see the link also so let's come back and copy this class name row write it here in the css file and for this row we will add display flex so all the text will be side by side here we will add justify content space around so it will divide the equal space and then we will add dot row h2 for the text here we will add font weight and we will change the font size after adding this you can see these text horizontally aligned and we have font size increased now we will design this link so let's come back and copy this class name view vtn write it here in this css file and for this view button we will add display then we will add text decoration after that we will add background in this background we will add one color code let's add the color it will be the button text color then we will add width width will be 100 percent and let's add some padding 15 pixel and 0 15 pixel from top and bottom then we will add some space from the top so margin top will be 20 pixel after adding this you can see this button looks good which is view profile after adding this we have to add the hover effect on this profile picture whenever we will take cursor there should be a border for that let's come back to the css file and here in this profile picture we will not add any border here we will add box shadow so here we will add box shadow 000 and 5 pixel and one color code after adding this we will come back to the website and you will see this 5 pixel of border around this profile picture now let's come back to the css file and we will make it zero so it will be hidden you can see it is hidden next we have to add hover effect so let's come back and here we will add profile pic hover and let's copy this shadow over here and in this one we will make it as 5 pixel like this and in this profile pic we will add transition so it will be a time duration so in this transition we will add box shadow 0.5 seconds so it will take 0.5 seconds to increase the border width from 0 to 5 pixel now you can see when i take cursor over this profile picture the border width is increasing from 0 pixel to 5 pixel and this hover effect looks beautiful so finally we have completed this beautiful user profile card design for website using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video